Hello to you my YouTube crew, it's Rachel here, how's it going? I have a wonderful review for you today from the wonderful people of Root Crate and uh, this month's theme is colossal, so it features uh, giant monsters and dinosaurs uh, so it features Jurassic Park, Godzilla, uh, I think Ghostbusters randomly but I guess that's like the giant marshmallow man and um, a few other things. Uh, I didn't do I did do the review for last month's box uh but unfortunately uh I actually deleted the file and I already put all the stuff away and sold a few things so unfortunately sorry I couldn't upload it uh it wasn't a great box last month apart from the Deadpool shirt that was the only mentionable thing from it uh but um this is probably going to be my last one as um uh, I'm finding the loot crate not as good personally for myself because usually it's a lot of series that i'm not into because i'm more an anime person um uh, but i thought i'd give luke crit a go nevertheless uh so yeah this is my last box so um yay thank you luke crate uh so as always i'm going to put the box down and open and show you what i have i have kind of already sneaky peeked a few things in this box uh so i'm just going to show you one by one Okay, so first up is always the Loot Crate shirt, and it is of ba 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 da 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 da. It is from a uh, Jurassic Park. Uh, they did preview some of the art on the Loot Crate site. Uh, it could have been a bit more of an exciting shirt. It's a bit drab and plain in my opinion but uh i have seen quite a few people wearing this on the bus and everything uh, and uh, around town uh so yeah there are some jurassic park fans out there um i've only watched the first movie of jurassic park uh i remember watching it as a kid on tv and being absolutely terrified by the t-rex <laughs> especially when that lawyer got numbed in the uh, when he was on the toilet <laughs> always terrified me i hated it uh but in nonetheless it's still a shirt the shit so it's a shirt so Next up we have a Godzilla item and it is a Godzilla plushie and I opened the box and I saw this and it's just like yeah this is just my favourite thing already. It's plushie and it's chibi and it's Godzilla and it is a official Godzilla item and this is from Kid Robot and they're pretty much famous for doing chibi versions of random characters and famous characters as well and so yeah I do love this plushie just the he looks so derpy. Look at that derpy face. <laughs> um, I would have liked it if it was like his dark grey colour uh, original. So I don't know if there's alternative versions of this. Uh, but uh, I'm not going to complain. A plush is plush and I love it. Next up we have Zipin of the month. And obviously being mainly heavily Jurassic Park themed. It is of uh, the Spitter uh, from uh, the end of the Jurassic Park movie. Obviously I can't remember the exact dinosaur's scientific name. But I just remember it as the Spitter. Or the one that spit in the fat guy's face in the car at the end of the first movie. <laughs> and technically that guy did get what he deserved. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> uh, I don't know if it unlocks anything. But it's still a pretty nice pin. And it's a, a cute little chibi Spitter face. <laughs> Next up we have a Marvel item. Uh, I was a bit disappointed because uh, unfortunately mine's got a bit damaged because uh, well, my post lady had to unfortunately throw it over my back garden fence but uh, it's uh, just a holographic card of the Incredible Hulk so I'll just take it out of the bag for you so you can see it because the light's reflecting on the bag. Uh, so you can just about see uh, Hulk's face there and then it sort of turns into Bruce Banner sort of doing a sort of yeah, stop turning into the Hulk pose. Uh, not a great item for me because uh, I do like Avengers but it's just like it's a bit meh and it's all bent up and dented so I don't quite know what to do with it but eh. Okay, and the last item is a uh, string bag or a shoe bag, whatever you want to call it, that bag. And it's meant to be of a Ghostbusters Proton Pack, if that's the right name for it. Uh, it's okay, it's still quirky. I know quite a few of my friends who are big Ghostbuster fans, I'm sure they're 
probably uh, saying oh my god that's so cool but uh, I don't really use string bags so I always find they fall apart but it's still uh, pretty cool you can wear a proton pack on your back though nevertheless so that's still pretty funky And as always we have the card explaining what is in and they are now doing a couple of new crates within Loot Crate. Uh, so they're doing a few sort of collabs with Comixology. Uh, so there's a mega crate. So for Loot Crate, uh, three of the will win a 4K TV and a full Ragnarok Hulk statue, which looks pretty awesome. You can't really see it. It's very, very tiny, but it's very much Hulk sort of flinging, sort of jumping in the air and he's got his giant hammer. And they are also now doing a Deadpool box. Uh, so uh, if you're a massive Deadpool fan, you want a Deadpool box every month, then Loot Crate are the box for you. And they are also featuring 10% off using a code. Uh, so if you use the code uh, Colossal10, uh, by a certain time this month, you can get 10% off your first subscription. So that's pretty cute. And as always, the box we had the exclusive t shirt from Loot Crate and Universal Studios, the exclusive Kid Robot Godzilla plush, who's currently tangled in the Ghostbusters bag, but yeah, Kid Robot. Uh, then we had the exclusive drawstring backpack from Sony, so yay. Uh, we had the exclusive Lentaclia print. Uh, from Open Road, and we had the exclusive D Dilif Dilophosaurus pin. <laughs> so that's what the dinosaurs called. Uh, made by 100% soft to add to your collection, and it's licensed by Universal for Loot Crate. So it doesn't unlock anything, unfortunately. Uh, would have been cool because I know a lot of my friends at work are playing the uh, new Jurassic Park app game, and I'm seeing Markiplier play the new PC game as well so uh, yeah Jurassic Park's making quite a big comeback with the um, upcoming films and everything so that was everything in the crate Okay, and as always, Loot Crate always do a box inside uh, to flip out and use with your items or just to use as a quirky box. Uh, so this month's box, obviously Jurassic Park was the heavy theme of this. So it only themes the uh, password screen from Jurassic Park. So as you know, the famous ah 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 scene uh, is pretty much that. So ah ah ah, didn't say the magic word. And there's like a random motherfucking T-Rex in a Hawaiian shirt. <laughs> Uh, so that was kind of quirky, that was a nice throwback. And uh, yay, yeah, there's also a postal address addressed from 1993, so this is a bit late. <laughs> uh, so I'm guessing this is meant to be from the film, I can't remember what this is. I guess it's the back of the computer actually, if that makes more sense. So you've got the size of the computer and the back of the computer when it was made, because you've got the registration code and corporate logo. So yay, yeah, that's <laughs> it's an interesting box, um, but yay. Yeah. Okay guys, so that was everything from this month's box and yay, as I said, my last Loot Crate. Uh, but however, I'm still going to carry on uh, Yume, uh, Anime, get uh, Loot Crate and um, I'll see how next month's Loot Gaming is because uh, I've got to make a few cutbacks and yeah, etc, etc, adult life. So um, anyway, this was still a relatively cool box so I hope you enjoyed this brief but quick review and as always, Please hit that notification button so you get the notifications of my next upload. And please like, share and subscribe. So until next time guys, I will say sayonara and stay nerdy, stay happy and keep collecting. Bye bye.